thought I'd make an update of my coil winder here. I've got some very fine wire 24 gauge, or I think it's 28 actually, 28 gauge on here. <clears throat> and I've made this uh, little pulley attachment here. As you can see, this can be adjusted. Um, there's a pulley here, goes down to a pulley down here, and then the wire comes out onto that pulley, onto this pulley, and then onto here where uh, I've got my assistant's going to put on the bobbin. And then I need a little, little thing to hold the bobbin on and screw a nut to tighten it up. So there, we'll just give that a little, little tighten, keep it snug, and then we'll bring the wire out. The wire down there. So the wire comes on that roller, up onto that roller, and then this this thing up here, hooked to this screw, and this this is a spring. The screw is a tensioner to stop this from rolling away when you get going too fast with the winder. So we'll maybe put about three turns on there and then we'll I'll stop this and come back in a sec when it's ready to go. Okay, we're ready to go with the machine. And we're gonna start winding right now. Let's see what's going on there. Fairly neat. Pull this over a bit more this way. If you keep the pressure just right, it goes on really well. You can actually get some pretty good speed with it too. It's okay, you just you keep it to the right more a little bit. It'll be good. I keep the whole unit to the right a little bit. It's own pressure. Will, will This is going to take 2,500 winds for this uh, final wire and we're finding it's taking about from start to finish to taping the coil up about 15 minutes for each coil, which isn't bad considering and it's doing a fairly decent job. So that's the uh, second layer. It's about 100, 100 winds across, so I guess that's 25 layers. Six layers or so, somewhere around there. So it's look, looking good. Okay, so we get out to the speed that's comfortable there, you know. But there you go. Once you do a few winds, and it's not going to be perfect. We're keeping this. This is working pretty good because we're slowing down pretty fast, about quite a bit here to get it nice and even. But um, you can go at this speed and it'll go off a little bit. But uh, that's okay. Just keep going, and it's winding in fairly decent. So. But I can tell you a lot, much, a lot better than by hand. I'll just back out here to show the whole thing. There's the foot pedal down there. As you can see, there's the foot pedal. There's the big spool. This looks like winding. You just, just, you just move, slide that back and forth, and we're good. And, uh, Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll almost finish this off and we'll come back and show you the very end. Okay, so we are almost done this, or uh, pretty well done I think. We got 25, 35 turns and that's about what we want. We're getting about 25, 31 or so, 35 turns on there. 20 2500. So there we go, that's the finished coil. We didn't do too bad of a job. It's not perfect, but it's certainly a lot better than doing them by hand and they're very tightly wound. 
So uh, all in all, it's a pretty good little thing. And this uh, this here can be tightened and loosened to bring this clo closer or farther back, depending on how big the coil is that you're winding. So uh, it's working pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So we'll take this coil, wind it up, and show you one last look. And uh, that's it. Okay, so the last shot here, we got a new core on there ready to go. This is the one we just wound and we taped it all up. It's all good, and this is one I wound before. You can see the winds on there. And so they weigh almost about a pound each. They're about 70 ohms each. And um, I'm not going to say the Henry's, but I've measured the Henry's on them. And then uh, I've got some cores I can use in there, or I can use them air core. Um, and so that's the machine. I'll just give another quick overview of the side. You got the counter. The eccentric to turn the counter, the sewing machine motor, the pedal for the motor down there, and of course uh, there's the spool of wire and the little mechanism. There's the bottom roller, and this is really good. Is this is the tension from here as this wire goes back and forth this way? This is deep enough that it doesn't jump off of here and just stays up going right along, and it grabs the tension really well and wounds those coils nice and tight. And very clean so anyway that's the coil jig uh, the last of it I think and uh, we can wind some very thin wire coils with this and so I hope that helps anyone out there take care